Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pokemon Emerald, the Grass Monotype Challenge. My name is Pixel Plume, and in the last episode, we made it here to Rustboro City with a new Shroomish. The nicknames are still being suggested, but I got a comment or two that I was pretty excited about, so we'll see that when we get to Slateport. I haven't totally decided on the name yet, but I'll have that when we get to that chapter. So, anyways, I did some off-screen training, so as you can see, Shroomish and Lily... I don't know if Lily found the same levels before, but... Shroomish is definitely bumped up a bit in the levels. And I also gave it a quick claw to hold, as you can see right here. Lovely, sassy quick claw. With some new moves like Leech Seed, Work It. <laughs> and today we're going to challenge the lovely Roxanne on this lovely Boxing Day. Happy Boxing Day to my lovely Canadians. I say lovely a lot because you're all very lovely. And everyone else who isn't Canadian is also very lovely. So let's get that out of the way. Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I'm no trainer, not me, but I can be sure give you winning advice. Let's settle then. We'll aim for the Pokemon Championship together. Except I won't ever mention you to the champion himself. So anyways, <laughs> it's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right or am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers, and that's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader, is a user of Rock-type Pokemon. The rock type is very durable, but it can't stand water types and grass type moves. Come see me afterwards if you beat the grass. The gym leader. Blah. Well, good thing we're doing a monotype challenge, and Lotad is a grass and water Pokemon. So we're gonna kick their butts indefinitely. I'm calling it right now. Mm hmm. So, first we have youngster Josh over here with a lovely Geodude, which we're gonna beat the butts out of. I don't know what I was going with there, but let's use Absorb right away. It's going to be just an Absorb Fest in this gym. Just watch. If there are other grass moves, I would use them, and I can't believe I didn't kill you in one shot. Because Geodudes are four times weak to Absorb. Or to grass moves, whatever you want to go for. Also, water moves, so that's why they are very good in this gym. So if you went with Torchic, uh, you would have to... It would be difficult in a way, but if you grind enough, level up enough, you can learn some fighting moves that will definitely benefit you. You were too good for me. Oh man, this gym and the Oras game, it's just so beautiful. I love it. They made it into a museum kind of thing. With the cool, I want to say, Kabutops in thing, but whatever. But here's a double battle. We may even in the middle of town, but so what? My rock, my new room to rampage. Well, you can't rampage in a museum, now can you, sir? But anyways, a lot of these gyms in this iteration of the game include double battles, because clearly Ruby and Sapphire didn't have enough double battles for you to enjoy with just twins. So they decide, why not? Let's do it again. Let's just absorb, and let's just absorb. Let's. Uh, by the way, you can attack your own, your own partner uh, for some reason. I know in certain conditions it would be beneficial to do so, but in general I just find it really dumb. I find it really dumb. But here we go, we're gonna beat them up. With some rock types. So anyways, you know, I'm not sure if we're gonna in include Christmas music in this particular episode, like wintry music. Uh, I didn't- I don't think I did it for my special that I'm doing. If I did it or not, I haven't decided yet, because I'm recording this first. So it'd be pretty embarrassing, it's like, oh, you recorded a special? I didn't see nothing about it. It's like, I'm sorry I lied to you guys. But anyways, hope you guys watched that. It's kind of a long project thingy. Actually, again, I'm just guessing because I honestly have no idea how long the special I have going on for is. But you guys will because this is in the future for you guys. What? Maybe I should just talk about it, but whatever. If there's music, there's music. I'll point it out again. Maybe next week. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing videos next week. It is New Year's and I'm already doing possibly doing something special for this, but I don't know. I don't know. But let's see. We got nature power. Do I want to test it out? Uh, maybe? I really don't remember what it does, so let's just do it. I'm feeling bold today. Swift! A swift kick in the swift stars. Swift rage. Well, there goes Geodude. I don't understand why these Geodudes are so strong in their special defense. I don't get it. But, what I do know is that Woodchip is falling behind because it's so old. And, uh, you know, I was kind of mean to Woodchip all the time. It's like, we just, it's only four episodes, but, well, this is the fifth episode, but, you know, 
I'm kind of mean to poor old Woodchip. I don't know why. Maybe because I just got to Fall Arbor and he let me down with Fury Cutter. My own incompetence screwed me over. Yeah, I'm gonna let Woodchip star in this next battle. So get excited for that. Here she is, the beautiful Roxanne. Hello, I am Roxanne, the Rustboro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and which with, and with which Pokemon? So this is our rock type gym leader. She kind of looks like Sailor Moon, don't mind that. You know, with the transforming powers and the puffy sleeves. And of course the hair. You can't forget about the hair. So she has her first Pokemon being Geodude. Um, I don't know if they have a special move or not. They might have Rock Tomb. I'm assuming that would be logical if it had Rock Tomb. Because... You know what? There it is. It missed. It has around 90% accuracy? Maybe? Maybe less? Really, I just... I should look at these things before I say them. But you know what? That's part of this experience of mine. I don't know everything about Pokemon. What I do know is that we killed that Geodude. Geodudette? Whatever. <laughs> and Witchip got a level! Cause you're awesome. Next up is a second Geodude. Because this game decided to say it's like, hey, one Judo is not enough. Just go for another one because we don't got Onyx in this game. That's just like the general formula for a lot of rock type gym leaders. Just use Geodude, just use Onyx. I don't think that was the case in Kalos, but for other rock gym leaders, they've been following that particular strategy. And last but not least is her nose pass. Oh my goodness, what is this thing? Well, this is a shroomish, but. Nose pass was just like, what the heck is that thing when I first saw it? It's like, are you serious? What is that? It's nose. I kind of wanted it. Uh oh, it used block. That means I can't switch out. Oh no. But stun spore should put you in your tracks. So basically, we're going to use a stall tactic, which generally grass types are notorious for. Except it would usually be substitute and substitute as well as leech seed. That is the combination that generally people use competitively for grass type Pokemon because that's what they're most known for. But I'm not all about that competitive life. I'm here about sucking up HP. That's why I love grass types so much. I love sucking up HP so much. Plus they're beautiful. Just look at that. Health for days. And it does that cute little miracle sparkle. I don't know if you'll hear that or not. But let's just go with you. You will. Or that you won't. But either way, if you don't hear it, no big deal because basically you're going to be hearing it for a lot of this project. So, no, not too bad if you don't hear it at this time. So, we're about. We're just chipping away at this thing because this thing is like, what the heck are you doing? It's paralyzed. For some reason, I found it weird that this thing could learn a uh, thunder wave. But I guess it's like about magnetic stuff and like that. That was a lot of HP got back. Am I really doing that little to it if 10 HP gave it that much back? By the way, I when I was playing this game, I had no idea where to get Nose Pass. I'm assuming now it's by Rock Smash, because when I was completing the Pokedex in Omega Ruby, uh, that's the only way I can get Nose Pass was by using Rock Smash in Granite Cave specifically. I was like, oh, that's kind of unfortunate, because I wouldn't want- Oh, come on! Girl! Can you stop this? You just want to be here forever, don't you? Sucking him up HP. I mean, I have enough HP, thank you very much. If Shroomish dies out, I'll be very sad. And too bad she blocked us in, because then I would switch and let everyone share the HP. The EXP. What if we run out of Zords before then? This will be just sad. She better not have another potion, because that would be just annoying. She's trying to slow us down, but the paralysis just makes her, like, cuts in half. I really don't know how much paralysis cuts the speed down, but I'm assuming it's a lot. I am assuming. So anyways, there'll only be one episode of Pokemon Emerald this week, I know, but this is a pretty big moment for us. Because we just kicked Roxanne's butt in a less than 10 minutes. So one episode of this, one of the Touch Detective, and possibly a special, which is already released. That makes sense. Roxanne was defeated! So... I lost. It seems I still have much to learn. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that trainers are to be given this if they defeat a gym leader. 
Please accept the official League Stone Badge. We got the Stone Badge! Hooray! We can now use Cut. Ash is going to explain. It heightens the attack power of your Pokemon. It allows you to use Cut. Please take this. It's Rock Tomb. Or HM39. You can only use it once. I'm just doing your job for you. You don't need to say it. Hello, uh, you lower speed. It's a rock move. You can only use it once. Good job. What do you have to say to me now? Since you are so strong, you should challenge other gym leaders. By battling many trainers, you should learn many things. So thanks. Thank you very much. We're gonna go heal now. Because, uh, that was just like... A chore and a half. Get out! Get out of the way! What the heck? Wait, please! Don't take my goods! Uh, bye. <laughs> I don't know what that's up with the goods, but hey, I'm digging it. We restored your tired HP, but should we teach Cut to somebody? I don't know if we should right now. We probably have to, but I don't know. Let's see who we can learn Cut. Maybe I'll teach it to a future Pokemon. It does 50 base power, so that's not bad. So I'll give it to Woodchip. Why not? Chipping off that wood. Gonna paint a wagon, gonna paint- Oh, so pound and quick attack do do the same. Okay, I just wanted to know that. One, two, and poof! You learned cuts. Please don't kill me, I'm not using HM slaves for this game. I'm not, cause all Pokemon can learn HM moves. So there you go. So that guy, he was just running up here, you know, probably got away. Oh, hello! Oh, it's you! You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg Woods, and is that a shroomish? Uh, I wish. Help me! I was robbed at Team Aqua. I have to get the goods back. If I don't, I'm gonna be in serious trouble. What are in those goods anyway? So this is Route 116, and there's a trainer. My Pokemon rule! Check them out! Yeah, I fought a lot of the trainers off-screen. Just the trainers that we have Pokemon that we've already seen before, so I just didn't want to show those off again. But this is a Machop! We haven't seen a Machop before. I don't think. Whatever. Here's our first Machop. So does us try out Cut. Does it do anything? Eh. Did alright. I wouldn't like holler home about it. But let's just go with Absorb. Base 20 power. Let's see it. Are you better than a base 20 move? Not really. This is just a disappointing day for Cuts everywhere. Although to be fair. To be fair. It is stab power and we have more special attack. Than an actual attack. Which is strange because the jolly nature, I looked it up, it increases your speed while decreasing your special attack power, so it's like, uh. I'm not really crazy with that, particularly, but hey. Maybe we'll just teach more physical moves to Woodchip, am I right? But we gotta level up for Woodchip there, old goody old buddy old pal. I don't know, I'm just a scrape, I have to put on a bandage. By the way, that guy was Joey A, didn't have a Rattata. Cry now, one or <laughs> Cry now for Joey's Rattata. The rest of the trainers I fought because they basically had all these newbie sucky Pokemon. Pow. Should I get the guy's goods back? Uh, I probably should. Those trainers up there, you can get with cuts, but uh... There are a lot of them and they're not that important. They will do it off screen. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, what am I to do? We are on our walk, Pico and I. When we were jumped by an odd thug, the scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Roar! Pico! Oh dear, don't don't have an aneurysm. A stroke? Don't get don't have a cow man. But we found a Pokeball inside a Pokeball. We put it in a Pokeball pocket. And welcome to Rust Turf Kea Tunnel. Where we have nothing but Wismers. When I did a Nuzlocke of this on my spare time, I always caught a Wismer, I wonder why. But Wismer always ended up dying because it just has really bad defense. In my opinion. Uh, special defense? Just bad defense. It has good attack though, I'm very surprised with the attack power. But then again, you shouldn't be. You got away safely, and what's up this guy? What are you coming? Come and get some then! Oh hello, you're so cute- Oh, come on! I just wanted to say hello to the little Wingle. You know, just faff around a little bit. But no. You just, you guys are just like, nope, you gotta keep going with the story. Just roll with it. Fine, I'll just talk. Peep, yo. 
Gar Key haul it all. That hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless, and to think I made a getaway. Endless tunnel of nothing but green. By the way, I love the color of this cave. Hey you, so you wanna battle me? Here we have Team Aqua once again. They seem to be the bad guys of this game, so let's kick their butts with the wood chipper. Let's use Absorb, because I'm very creative with my move choices. Alright, we might change it up just for a bit. Tackle. It missed. I don't know why if I'm going to keep... Probably not going to keep Quick Attack. All things, oh wow, that did a lot more. Can we just... Let's see how Cut does. Right in the neck. That poor puppy didn't stand a chance. Oh, my career in crime comes to a dead end! Ha! <laughs> cuz it was a dead end. Okay, well, I get it. This is plain and not right. The boss told me it would be a slick and easy job to pull. Oh, he did steal some pockets from Devin. Tch! You want it back? Take it! We got the goods, I wonder what's inside. An old man? Yeah, an old man. Pico, am I glad to see you're safe? Pico owes her life to you. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are? Ah, so you are Jane. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in my cottage by the sea near Heidelberg Woods. Come, Pika, we shall make our way home. Pio! Aw, oh, that's cute. Look at it flapping its little butt. I like that little butt. Why didn't you take me back? Alright, well. If you think we're gonna end the episode there, we're not quite done yet. Because I don't want to be in the city by the end of this episode. Actually, I do. But, you know. We're just gonna try to speed up the story and stuff. We gotta get this guy's package. We won't see him for another week. Oh, how did it go? The Devon Goods, you did it. You got them back. You really are a great trainer. I know, with my thanks, I'll give you another Poco Girl. You know, it's funny. If you use teleports, if you have an Abra, you know, you can just, like, bypass that guy. But you can't progress in the story without it, so. It's kind of interesting, but kind of pointless. Please, come with us. This is the Devon Corporation's third floor. Our president's office is on this floor. Anyways, I can't tell you how much grateful I am for you. By the way, that parts you got for us. Could I get you to deliver that to the, the shipyard and slight force? It would be awful if those robbers tried to take it again. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, could I count on you to do that for me? Oh, that's right. Could you wait here a sec? Our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Please go ahead. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of Devon Corp. I just got word about you. You saved your staff not once, but twice. I should fire them all. I have a favor of an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a package to Slateport Shipyard. Well, on the way, can you stop off at Duford Town? <laughs> you're a Duford. I was hoping that you'd deliver a letter to Stephen in Duford. Ooh, Stephen, that sounds like a sexy name. Now you should know that I'm a great. Wow. I'm not even going to acknowledge that, actually. I'm just going to skip over it. So I'd never be a chief to ask a favor for nothing in return. That's why I want you to have this. It's a Pokenav. That device. It's a Pokemon Navigator, or Pokenav for short. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer on an adventure. It has a map of the- Oh my god, it has a map. You can check the location of the Duford and Slate more easily. By the way, I heard the sinister criminals, Magma and Aqua, I believe, have been making trouble far and wide. I think it'd be best if you rest up before you go. Oh, so there's also a magma. So I guess that's it. We learned all this stuff, so I guess we'll end it off there before it gets too late. So in the next episode, I have no idea what we're going to do, but see you later. Bye-bye.